Hey guys and good morning. So today I am super excited um, to be doing this video. This is a collaboration video um, with a YouTuber that I went on to Facebook and found. Um, there was this whole group where you can kind of sub to each other and it kind of helps each other out. Um, and so I found her on here and she made a post and said, hey, do you guys want to, or does anyone want to do a collaboration with me? I'm thinking about doing something goddessy. Does anybody want to do it? And so I was like, well, I will. And then after I got on there and we started discussing it a little bit, um, a bunch of other people got on there and they're like, well, we want to do it too. And we're like, uh, yeah, the more the merrier. So her name um, is, let's see, what is it? Her YouTube name is TT. S style 06. Um, I'm going to link everybody down below. This is going to be part of a big collaboration and so everybody's videos and all that jazz are going to be listed in the description box along with all of the products. I'm probably not going to show the products as I use them because I'm literally going to be using so many products today and so we're actually going to get started right away because I have a lot of work to do. This is going to be a full face but I did want to show you that um, this is kind of the sketch, the preliminary sketch that I did. Um, I chose to do the Egyptian goddess because I love anything that has to do with Egypt. I'm obsessed with Egyptian culture and I love it. And as soon as I thought about what goddess I wanted to do, I jumped at the chance to do Egyptian because they are, they wear a lot of eyeliner and I love my eyeliner. And so I was like, I got Egypt guys. And then I thought, well, which one? Cause there's a lot of Egyptian goddesses. And so I wanted to do the Egyptian goddess Bast, which is the cat goddess and she is the goddess of, um, from what I could find, there's, she has a lot of different titles, but the one was the goddess of fertility and perfume or the goddess of protection. And I mostly chose her because she's a cat goddess and I thought it could do a really cool cat eye. Um, and it was all Egyptian themed and so I just, I'm so excited. So I'm going to start by moisturizing my face because my face is super, super dry this morning. Um, this is the just rolled out of bed look, by the way. I know it's super sexy, but... Um, and so we're going to go ahead and moisturize my face because I am feeling extremely dry. And so we are going to be pretty liberal with this because I do not want a matte face, really. I do want it to be very dewy. And so we're going to go ahead and rub that in, especially on this side. And so, now that we have that in, we are going to start by doing the face first because the face is going to need the most amount of work. And I need something to clip my hair out of the way because I have a feeling it's going to dry me. Foundation, And I'm not at all worried about my foundation oxidizing. In fact, if it does today, that is going to work in my favor because my skin is going to be very, very bronzed and darker than normal. So I had this little um, sample that I got in my Sephora um, haul or order last time, which is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Benefit stuff or whatever. So I'm using that. Um, I know I said I wouldn't show you guys, but I thought I'd at least show you this one. It looks like it is way too dark for my skin. But that's okay because that's actually going to work in my favor. It's like the only time that that is going to be okay. And so we're just going to, oh yeah, definitely too dark, but it's exactly what I want. Okay, so overhaul, and this looks super funny because this is like way too dark and way too orange for me, but it uh, it is a pretty nice foundation in itself. And then I am going to use this Elizabeth Arden powder because this stuff is also too dark for me, even though it's in the lightest shade, it's in 02. It always ends up being dark in my skin and that's exactly what I want.
And now we're going to move on to brows. Brows are going to be fairly simple in that I'm not going to do a ton of work to them right away. I'm just going to put my eyebrow gel through them, um, which is actually just a dark brown mascara, and then we're going to darken them up quite a bit because I do want them to be actually pretty black, which normally I don't do, but for this particular look we want very black and very angled eyebrows. So. So now that the preliminary brows are on, we are going to go ahead and move on to the face. Now, I have been using this stuff already. What did I just drop in there? I have no idea. Um, normally, I have been using this stuff already because I love it, but we are going to be using it pretty heavily. And this is the Essence Sun Club Bronzer. Um, it's for brunettes or darker skin. And if you use it lightly, it looks really fantastic as a just bronzer on the face. It makes you look like you just got back from vacation or something. It's awesome. But I am going to use a big fluffy brush and literally put it all over my face here. Um, because I do want my skin to be very, very, very bronzed. Okay, so now that we have pretty much just bronzed the majority of the face, we're going to go ahead and start, I think, on the eyes right now. Um, I'm going to be using a cream base, and let's see here. I'm going to be using this Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Eye Base and Submissive, which is basically just this kind of coppery color, because everything is going to be very bronzed and golden-y and, you know, that kind of color scheme. And so I'm just going to apply this to the eyelid. I'm not going to bring it up super far because I don't know if I'm going to be putting eyeshadow on that area as much. But we're just going to apply that as a base. I have so much makeup on my hands already. And then we're going to go in, I think, with the Lorac Pro Palette and then use that gold shade that's in there. It's literally just called gold. And then we're going to go ahead and just pack that on the eyelid. Okay, so now that we have that kind of a base down that looks really good, actually, I'm liking that. I'm going to kind of reference my photo here, but I think most of the rest of it is going to be the eyeliner part. Um, I think I am going to run some color along the bottom, but we'll do that here in a minute. So the products that I'm going to be using for the eyeliner portion, I have several. Uh, where'd it go? So we're going to be using pencil, cream, and liquid because we need our eyeliner to be on point today. Okay, and we're done. Just kidding. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to be using the cream liner here. And I need a pretty specific brush. Normally I don't use this kind of an angled brush. This is almost like a brow brush. But I do need to have a tip on the end here. So I'm going to go ahead and start that process because a lot of the look is all about the eyeliner. We'll work on the rest of the face here in a minute, but I'm gonna sharpen up the edge down here. I'm gonna bring it in the corner, and then I'm gonna do a secondary wing out. So let's see how that goes. Okay. 
All right, guys, so it took me quite a bit of time to really get the, um, where is my liquid liner? Um, to get the eyeliner kind of um, base down because it requires a lot of precision work. And so working with it, it would have taken me probably 10, 15 minutes just to do that part. And so what I did is I just took my cream liner, which I used the L'Oreal um, black liner, and I just created kind of a base and I want the wing for this to go out pretty far um, and I did some on the inside corners here and so what we're doing is we're gonna take the steel aligner because it has a very long sharp precise tip and we're gonna kinda clean this up down here clean up down here and then just kinda go over the top so I'll show you what I mean that's more what I wanted cool and then I'm actually gonna take on this side because this is kinda what I had in the drawing and I'm gonna create little lashes Okay, and then so we're creating some lashes there, and it, this is starting to look so much better now. And then I think I'm going to do something a little bit different on the other side here. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and leave this side because I am really liking it. Okay, and so then on this side, I think I'm going to do a little bit different pattern, and we are going to... On this outside edge, we're going to draw a little swirl, a very typical Egyptian type swirl. And so, we're going to, I kind of need both hands for this, but it's going to be difficult. So, I think we're going to start from here and angling it down. So eyeliner is good and so we're going to be adding some glitter and some rhinestones just because I do want this to be a little bit glammed up and so I am going to do that and I'm really honestly boggled by the mystery of the missing eyeliner cap. That's really strange. So we're going to be using this glitter here from Wet n Wild and I hate their packaging. I love their products but their packaging they have so many gosh darn stickers on this. They have stickered on this side, this side, and this side. Surprised they don't have one on the back too. So while I'm getting this open, I'm still looking around for my lid for that thing. I don't know where that went. So good. Okay, so we have this glitter here, and I'm debating about whether where to put it, but I think I'm going to put it kind of on the center here. And so we're going to take a synthetic brush. Just here, uh, this is one from Elf. And what I love about this stuff is that the glitter is not just an overspray; it's throughout the whole product. And so we're going to pick up some of that on there. And just put it on kind of the lid. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my everyday makeup look. Just kidding. So, now that we have some glitter laid down, I am going to dig out some rhinestones here. Uh, and some lashes. We're not going to be doing lashes just because mine aren't grown in enough to be able to put anything on. And also, it's more about the eyeliner anyways. And so I have these little studs here, and I'm going to be placing some of those as well because I think these are really cool.
Okay, so this video is like, it's going to be so long that I've, I'm going to have to edit it down so much. I've already done two 15 minute videos just on this stuff. But right now we are taking lash glue and we're placing some rhinestones. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand here. And then I have these little um, studs that I'm going to be placing at various points on my face. So... Okay, so I'm going to stop right there, and then I am going to actually do my brows, because my brows are way too light right now. It's like one of the few times that I can actually say that. So we're going to take, mm, you can take any kind of a brush you want. I'm actually going to, just going to take this little smudge brush, and I'm going to take my, where'd it go? My Lorac Pro palette again, and we're going to use that black shade that's in there, and we're just going to make our brows super dark. And then we might add a few more rainstones. So just take this and... Darken up those brows. So now that we have our brows on point, or Egyptian point rather, they are definitely kind of overpowering the face a little bit. And so I'm actually going to go over them with a little bit of gold um, shadow, and I'm going to add some gold shadow in some other places too. So taking a very small brush such as this one, we're going to pick up that gold. And we're going to kind of go over the brows with it to kind of lighten them up and just create a little bit of sparkle. And then we are going to kind of sculpt the rest of the face. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this matte blush palette that I got and that really dark shade that's in there, I'm going to contour because I do want my face to be pretty sharp. So I'm going to take this brush here and this stuff is super duper pigmented. And we are going to create we want a very sharp look. We don't want to blend it out overly much because that's what this look is all about. And then we are going to go in with some blush. I'm going to have to wash every single brush. I just washed all these, but there's so much product on here now that there's no way I can use this for my everyday makeup now. I think we're going to take this one from my M Cosmetics palette and ignore me. Take my little tool here and pop this out. This is a beautiful blush, by the way going to work perfectly for this tutorial. So from my giant beach cosmetic or beach themed M Cosmetics one, we're going to take a uh, pink fizz and we're going to use that as blush. And then we're just going to use the Real Techniques kind of blush brush here and get quite a bit of product on there.
but then since my forehead is looking a little left out, I'm actually going to take that same brush that I used for the bronzer, or the contour, and we're just going to go along the forehead here. I never ever contour my forehead because I do not like the way that looks, but for this look, my forehead is looking a little out of place. So, pick up some product. And then we are actually almost done with this. And so I am going to take, let's see, what are we going to do next? Oh, lips. I have this Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Ready to Swoon, which is amazing. It's perfect for this. And actually we are also going to take and dab a little bit of that gold onto the center. And so you can take your finger and just pick up some of the gold from the Lorac, the Lorac Pro palette. And just dab it on the center. Now that we have that down, we are just about finished. And I am super excited because this looks exactly the way I was hoping it would turn out. With the exception of the brows, the brows are a little bit different than what I wanted, but I am just really liking it. And I'm so I'm going to take a couple of more products. We're not going to use any concealer. Where did it go? We're going to take this Jouer um, Luminizing Sunscreen stuff, and this is in the golden shade. And I'm going to use this as a highlight. And I do want a very dewy type effect to the skin. Perfect. And then I'm also going to take just, I think I need to slim down the nose a little bit too, which I normally don't do either, but for this look I am wanting to do that. And so I'm going to take this brush that I originally used to pack on the eyeshadow, which most of the eyeshadow is not there anymore. And we're going to take a little bit of taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm just going to attempt to contour my nose, which normally I don't do, but... Okay. Okay. And now we are finished. So this is my bronze goddess, Egyptian goddess bast look. And so I really hope you guys like this. This is not something you would wear every day. This isn't something that you would wear out anywhere unless you were going to like a themed party. This is just something that was super fun to do. It was a great collaboration with the girls that did it with me and I just love it. I really do. This is just absolutely fantastic. So I hope you girls enjoy and um, make sure to watch everybody else's collaborations. They are doing some really fun ones and I'm really excited to see what everybody else does. So I will see you soon.